Hello everyone, so I'm sure you've heard that quick swapping is back, however it was recently discovered basically this morning that there is a way to do it not on strand without grappling. You can do it on any subclass, on any class. All you need is to have no super, have used your powered melee, and uh, ideally you want some high handling. So for example, I'm on Dragon's Shadow right now, so I'm going to get Wraith Metal Mail, it's going to give me a crazy amount of handling and as well as animation scalar reductions. So now I just dodge and uh... So yeah, pretty pretty powerful, pretty powerful stuff. No doubt this is going to be uh, one of the top DPS methods out there. Uh, this is actually very, very easy to do. Uh, you can do this on console as far as I know. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, and yeah, the only thing you really need here is really, really high handling. And um, yeah, it's it's just really, really cool. So I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to do this. There's a couple stuff, uh, you know, a couple videos online right now on how to do this. Uh, but I thought I'd make a more formal one that shows like the best method. Um, so what you're going to need to do here is I'm pressing a combination of six buttons, right? So I'm holding down right click so I can ADS and that's not actually necessary. I'm holding down left click so I'm shooting. And then I'm also holding down powered melee, right? So obviously if you have your melee and you hold down powered melee, you're going you're gonna to just use your melee, right? So you need to not have a melee so you can use that early. And you're going to hold down powered melee. And then there's three buttons that you have to tap, okay? So you have to tap grenade. You have to tap a weapon swap and then you have to tap super okay so that's six buttons total now that might sound like a lot because you're, you're pressing six buttons to do one swap but it's actually very very easy if you split it up correctly so first of all right i'm going to open a notepad file here i already have this open but number one right in this tutorial you're going to be holding down on mouse and keyboard left mouse button and right, right mouse button okay and number two you're going to go ahead and rebind grenade you're going to rebind uh, swap weapon, so I would use previous weapon, right? And uh, you're going to rebind super, okay? And now the other thing you can do is you can also uh, double bind. You can bind super and powered melee together, okay? And that will make this a lot easier to do as well. So I've gone ahead and gone into CVARS. CVARS is a file, I mean, you can look it up online on how to edit your CVARS, your bindings. Uh, basically, all you need to do is just go to File Explorer and go to type percent app data percent and go to bungee go here and then just edit this in your text editor of choice when you're done with it go to the properties and just check read only again uh, to make sure it's in its original state but all you need to do here uh, you only need to do this if you're double binding if you're not double binding you don't have to do this but that being said i did double bind to make it so that i only have to use five buttons instead of six but all i did was i set super and powered melee to be comma on my keyboard so super is comma and if you see melee charged, I also set that to comma. If you don't want to double bind and you just want to do all vanilla stuff, uh, you can actually just do this in game. So I'm going to show you how to do it using CVARS. Obviously doing it in game is like very straightforward. You just do what I'm saying out loud, but just in game. Um, but you want to bind your grenade, your previous weapon, and your super keys to three separate buttons that are really easy to press in a row. So what I did on my keyboard is if I go to on-screen keyboard real quick, um, I bound grenade to slash i bound previous weapon to period and i bound super to comma so all i'm doing when i'm swapping right now is i'm holding down right click and left click and then i'm tapping one two three one two three one two three just over and over just like that okay so it's actually really really easy so again i'll go in game right now um i don't have my input overlay up right now but all you need to do is again right click left click one two three one two three one two three one two three just i'm just literally just tapping those three buttons that i mentioned earlier that's it right very very straightforward uh if you want to swap back and forth like you want to do double shotgun swapping um you can bind a different key to next weapon and then you would just tap like one two three one four three one two three one four three so you would just change the button you tap every time which is a little bit more complicated but um this is really really easy to pull off otherwise um some people will suggest that you use the switch weapons bind which is normally set to tilled or back tick i would not do that uh using switch weapon for whatever reason just slows down your swap speed so I would suggest not doing that. Use previous or next weapon or use a direct weapon bind. So like primary specials, heavy weapon bind. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing some extensive damage testing on this later on. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. This was found by Sutek. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave his video in the description. Um, we've just kind of refined his method here and made it a lot more easy. Uh, he did it using a macro in his video, but you can totally do this by just rebinding. And I'm pretty sure, you know, controller has access to grenade previous weapon and super so this should be doable on controller and console as well this is really awesome and uh yeah i hope it doesn't get patched goodbye for now